Uh, sorry, I've got a lot of papers here. Uh, okay, so our first startup is Index. Presenting for Index are Brian Cox and Connor Hinman. Come on out, guys. Go ahead, you've got six minutes. All right. We're here because we're idea people. We're doers. So how do we manage our ideas and doings every day? Even if you're an organizing nut like I am, your ideas and content are scattered across all your devices and services. Your files are in Dropbox, your links are in Pocket, your notes are literally everywhere. We don't think about our ideas as these files and compartments, but there's no way for us to interact with our content the way we think about it intuitively. Apps like Evernote and OneNote have tried to solve this problem by allowing mixed content inside of a note. But the tooling around creating these rich documents is too dense for the casual user. Evernote says users ignore 95% of features. And then the specialists like Pocket, Dropbox, and Wonderlist are always going to be the best in a niche. But that requires a focus too narrow to hold all of our personal content. We need a simple way to organize all of our stuff the way we think about it. And that's the philosophy of Index. With Index, we can easily organize all of our notes, links, images, and files across all of our devices and platforms. Let's jump into the demo and look at a real example of how we've been using Index while remodeling our office in Tahoe. So every day, we come across useful content from so many different places. Here, we're browsing the web, and we stumble on this guide to building a stand-up desk. That's totally our style, so let's hold on to it. We could bookmark this. Or we could save it in pocket and maybe read it later on our phone. But what about that picture of the floor plan or the Home Depot shopping list? How do we tie this into the whole office idea? We just index it. To index something, simply tap a button, add whatever tags come to mind, and your content is saved and organized everywhere. Here we've tagged this new office to add it to our ongoing office project. And boom, it's saved everywhere. Let's switch over to the web app and look at the project that we've been building. Web app. So the home page in index is the tag index. And that's literally anything that you've tagged index. Looks like we've tagged an image, a couple of shortcuts. And there's the shortcut to our new office tag. Let's check it out. So there's our standing desk, along with the picture of the floor plan, a Google Doc of our project outline, a Pinterest pen, a YouTube video, some lamps we want, and so on. And this is synced across all of our devices. So let's switch to the iPhone and pick up our workflow on mobile. So here's our home screen again. We're quickly back to our new office project. I just remembered I'm getting some monitors delivered on Monday. I'm going to make a note of that. And unlike any other app, Index uses a unique list management system. Things in Index can be in 0, 1, or 100 places at once, and in any order. So we'll add this to our new office list, and also to our to-do list. And we can even set a reminder. Remind me Monday at 9 AM. And that'll send me a push notification to remind me about this note. So we've got a floor plan, we've got desks, and we've got monitors. The next logical piece of any office is a margarita machine, right? <laughs> and I remember looking at one a long time ago, but I have no idea where I put it. So let's search for it. And search and index is really powerful because we're really forgetful. So I know it was a link, but I have hundreds of links. I would have put it in my wish list, though. So let's look for just the links in my wish list. And there it is. Looks like I've tagged it Amazon and wish list, and I'll just tag it new office to add it to my project. I can tap that tag to get back to my list. But it's not just a list. It's a moldable collection of ideas that can take whatever shape I want it to. And it's starting to look complete. So I'm going to share this with the team to put us all on the same page. I'll just open my options, select to share this list, and that'll generate a live link to my new office list. And finally, I can share an idea with the team. And what we've just seen is a single dimension of index. In reality, we have hundreds of ideas coming and going at all times of day. 
And that's where Index really shines. It's a control panel for the entire world of digital content. And it's as simple as tapping a button and adding our thoughts. So now that we've had a taste of the app, let's jump back to the presentation and learn more about the company. At Index, we want to build a product people love and a business they want to support. Anyone can start indexing today and save hundreds of things for free. After saving 237 things, we'll ask if you're ready to be a super user. A super user pitches in a couple bucks a month for totally unlimited storage. And you can start indexing right now. We released 1.0 today here at TechCrunch. You can find the app at indexapp.com and by searching Index Everything on, all your, on your favorite app store. And for the, super, for the early adopters, we have a special surprise for the first 1,000 super users. And that's Index. Work the way you think. <laughs> All right, judges, who wants to start us off? So very quick question. Why 237 things? It, it sounds random, and it is. Um, it's, it's something that we'll experiment with. We want to know when people feel like they've gotten value out of the app. We don't want to you know, push it on them too soon. We, want, we think that by storing people's personal content, they'll become very attached to the app. So we want to make sure that they kind of have this love for Index before we say, hey, help us support the business. Mm -hmm. Could you share a little bit about your team background and why you think you're uniquely positioned to do this? Sure. So the team is long-term startup engineers originally from Atlanta. We've built names like Scout Mob, Yik Yak, the CNN apps that are on your phone right now. Um, this is what we do. And this is the most important problem that we've found in our daily lives. This app is actually based off a personal app of mine that I tinkered with for years and just explored philosophically, like how do I solve these problems? And only two months ago, we started really putting in the work to make it a production thing. We built it totally from scratch. Charles, go ahead. Why build a new destination or app as opposed to a federated search solution that would allow me to search across all the, thing, all the places I already park content today? Could you reword that? Yeah, I mean, I already have things in Dropbox, all the places you mentioned. Why not provide me with a unified search interface over the places that I already have these things as opposed to getting me to create a new behavior and save things in a new place? So I'm really glad you asked that. So we design entirely around that. We have workflows, too, that we can't break. We use Dropbox at work. And we're always going to use Dropbox at work. Some people might have Evernote or have an email-based to-do system. And we totally honor that. And we build knowing that. We don't want you to switch from what you're doing. We want you to do what you're doing better by providing this tagging layer atop all of your services. So how does that, sorry, how does that integration work? Because what you showed us is essentially links and things like that. So it made me think of a new, kind of a new delicious of sorts. So how does the integration with the rest of the, the workflow, to piggyback on what Charles was saying, like if I'm using um, Dropbox, if I'm using Evernote, if I'm using uh, Pinterest, because there's a, some elements of Pinterest there as well, how does that sort of all work together so you have one consistent way to access data? So Index wants to be that top-level platform. You store your stuff in Dropbox. You store your stuff in Evernote. And you simply tag it in Index to have a dashboard of where that is. So Index sits atop all of that and allows you to reach into these silos quickly without having to go log into Dropbox and use Dropbox's tools. So it provides a consistent interface across all of this without asking that you switch to it necessarily. And so you have integrations with all those services? So we don't necessarily need integrations because what our app does is take any content and standardize it into something that Index understands. So if you put an image into Index, we will store it. But if you point to an image on Dropbox, we'll just point to that image on Dropbox. And it simply provides an interface for you to reach into Dropbox or Evernote or whatever from the same place. Because many times you are thinking about one idea, but the parts of that idea are in Dropbox, Notes, and so on. Patricia. Can you talk about how you're thinking about distribution for the app and, and sort of what your go-to-market is more broadly? Right. So we launched today. And um, we're going to start by just addressing, we think the tech community is the best group to address, because everybody knows this problem. We're inundated with all these services. I have at least 15 that I use every day. I, have, I used to have tabs all across my browser. So we're going to start by, by finding the tech people who know this problem and can get the most use from it. And then from there, 
learn what works, experiment, and then learn how to spread that to everybody. So uh, <clears throat> I find organizing is, is kind of a means to an ends, and, and it, mm -hmm. I'm a bit OCD, it really appeals <laughs> to me. But if you say, here's one job that you can do with this product mm -hmm. that you can't do with all of the existing solutions out there, what would that be? So it's not necessarily that it enables anything that was impossible. It takes what you're already doing and allows you to do it much more efficiently in a way that is the way you think about it. So for the example here, we were, we're rebuilding our office in Tahoe. I have, without Index, I would have my links in Pocket. I would have pictures on Dropbox, notes on my phone. And to put together this list and give it to somebody and say, here's what we're working on, I would have to go into each of these services, pull all of the data into a shared container, standardize it, and then from there, send out all this information. Where an index, you just say, take that Dropbox link, that note, put them in a list, and share them over here. Any final questions? So you showed the um, interaction as a user. Is that a group um, sort of index? Or do you invite people to certain tags? Or how do you collaborate with your teams? Are you asking about the share feature that we saw, or how do we do collaboration where two people can add to the same? For example, product? collaboration in, in the broad sense. OK, so collaboration is the next thing we want to focus on, like in the very short term. Right now, your index is yours, and you can share your list to anybody, and anybody can consume it. But the next thing we want to focus on first is allowing people to create lists and content together. So you and I could have a shared reading list, or two people at work could have a project that they share together. And they put things into this shared project, and from there can share it. All right, we are out of time, so give it up for Index. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Time to bring out our second company, Color Mass, presenting for